Now, welcome back, Hamish Dodd, designer extraordinaire, and you have brought a guest with you. I have. Um, well, as I often like to, I, I like to have a man do things. <laughs> yeah. Or lady, but in this term, it's it's a man, and one thing that I would not mess with is a kitchen. Oh, yeah. So I have international, award-winning, international designing, my friend, Mal Boy. International it's, Man has written a well written he's got a book. A book with full of your beautiful kitchens. Yes, yes. Um, before we start, I just have to ask you, these kitchens are beautiful in this book. What is your kitchen like in your oh, house? Oh look, I'm quite private about my own kitchen. <laughs> that means that means it's Bring like, it out, Mel. It's Bring like it out. a plumber has a leaky tap. It's like the mechanics. I've got car, soft isn't closed it? drawers because the... they don't collect these. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, I love the fact we're talking about kitchens today, guys, because you know, it's the heart of the home. Everybody yeah. dreams of having the perfect kitchen, and I guess there's lots of different options we can go through. This book, by the way, is fantastic. Thank you. Um, let's talk about what you've got going on. Well, Mel, you've got three sort yeah, of distinct so, kitchens. Yeah, so I thought we'd focus on three kitchens today that two are not in the book and one is in the book. And so the first one is um, the Christie kitchen and it's a, a transitional style. So this has come about by um, anyone that goes on Pinterest, Howes. They're starting to look at what's happening overseas mm. and we're starting to get a little bit of a modern twist on what I'd call traditional kitchens. So this is um, very... I've. A couple of things came to mind last night, actually. It's because it's almost slightly medieval. It could almost be sort of Games of Throne-y side of look. That's on trend. And, um, <laughs> but, it, but what we've used is really highly polished metals, and we've used aged brass in the doors and old-aged oak, and we've really made something that was modern look quite old but still contemporary. And I think that's the main thing that we're trying to do. So it's not a colourful and bright kitchen that I sort of well known for, mm -hmm. it's repairing it back and we're using metals and using them in a different way. Do you find that New Zealanders want to invest a bit of money in their kitchen? Oh, New Zealanders want to and yeah. they love it. I mean the kitchen's the heart of the home, yeah. uh, except for this summer. Our summers are normally pretty average and we're in the house all the time, but this summer's blowing us away a little bit. But I mean, that's what people love and they love showing it off and I go around the world doing what I'm doing and I know from what a fact that we have the, some of the biggest kitchens in the world and we do actually spend some of the most money. Yeah, we do. We have some yeah. great kitchens, yeah. don't we? Because you've got a, a project in Hollywood and Trinidad as well. Yeah, doing a whole house in Trinidad. Everything's getting made in New Zealand. Wow. Put in a container at the end of next week and shipped over there, and then we'll be over there having a look at it being installed. Oh, so fantastic. That's pretty cool. Now tell me about the next kitchen. The next kitchen's one actually just across from the road from where the other one is, so it's quite interesting. And this is um, one, I call it the point. And this is what's happening a lot in the world at the moment. We're going for very textural products. So we're taking the gloss, we're taking the shine off it. We're using timber, so I've used an oak timber there in the veneer, but it's what's called plank, so it's all random. So there's no continuity in the planking of it. Um, and it's very, very tactile, it's just been oiled. Then I've used the schist along the, the backsplash, which is most probably not the most practical thing, but the person's kitchen isn't, he's not there often, he doesn't cook a lot in it. So Does it's he have scullery? He doesn't have a scullery, it's just a simple apartment, but we've used black, I mean black handles, black sinks. We've, I've used the black granite and we've sandblasted and taken it really back to a really honed finish. That looks amazing. Nice. That, yeah. that is not just a simple apartment, just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what apartments you hang out in. <laughs> that sounds like a flash street to me. Um, OK, what else have we got? And the last one's a, a kitchen on Waiheke, and in 2014 this oh. kitchen uh, won me the Society of British Interiors World Kitchen Award in London. Um, so this is at the other end of the scale, it's very streamlined. We've done things like we've done very thin tops, not thick tops. Everything's electric, so all the doors, all the drawers are all electric. We've curved the Corian, and the whole island was based on, because it's where it is on Waiheke and it sits out over a beautiful cliff and the waves, it's all based on the wave. OK, what's Corian? Corian's a, a man-made product by DuPont. So it's a, a, a a sort of a plastic, but it's been around for about 40 years. So I've been designing for 28 years, 30 years. Um, it was first invented by DuPont for the space program in NASA. Wow. And they said, hey, this works great as a bench top. So a lot of people would have Corian in their house for years and years and years. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. That kitchen is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Electric everything. That yeah. sounds oh, so nice. great. So what, you just touch the drawers and they open? Uh, yeah. Oh. Touch the drawers. Mm. Imagine that. So, I, I feel like I need to see these kitchens though with more junk and maybe a phone charger on the bench <laughs> as well. Yeah. Maybe some smeared well, handprints well, like Well occasionally this. before we photograph they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually I wanted to ask you both this, Hamish yeah. and Mel, you oh. know, what percentage is, you know, I guess design and what uh, percentage is practicality when you're designing a kitchen? Well, mm -hmm. the function's all got, always got to work. So first of all, the kitchen has to function properly right. for the person that's using it. 
Yeah. Not for everyone. And this is where people get a little bit confused, this whole work triangle thing, that's the buzzword. As a designer, you're talking to the people that are using the kitchen, as you do, Hamish, from yep. what you're doing, and you're, you're designing it for them. And you're not designing it for their friends, their family, yeah. the odd partner that may turn up. You know, you're designing it for the person, the homeowner, that's going to use it and love oh, that so, kitchen. Oh, so good. Get a great yeah. kitchen and then trust in your designer. Yes, yeah. and get Hamish yeah. to bring Mel along. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's worth the expense. <laughs> Thanks, Hamish and Mel. Now, Mel has kindly brought in some of his Mel Cowboy kitchen books to give away. I tell you what, that is fantastic. So go to thecafe.co.nz. And if you miss out, go to melcowboy.com if you want to buy some gifts for some people.